Did not wait for me to draw near to you, but you clothed yourself with frail humanity. You did not wait for me to cry out for you, but you let me hear your voice calling me. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, O Lord God. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your goodness, for your mercy and grace, O Lord Jesus. Lord, we are forever grateful to you. We are forever grateful, Lord God, for the cross, O Lord Jesus. We are forever grateful to you, O Lord Jesus, because you came, O Lord God, to seek and save the lost, O Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father God, O Lord Jesus, for the, the blessings, O oh Lord God, that you've given to us, O oh Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We lift up your name on high, O oh Lord God. We glorify your name, O oh Lord, in, in this place, O oh Lord Jesus. You're awesome in this place, mighty God. Lord, we are here, O oh Lord God, in one accord, O oh Lord, Lord Jesus. We are gathered, Lord, in your name, in your mighty name, O oh Lord God, to give you the highest praise and worship, O oh Lord God. Let every sounds oh lord god lord god that we make that every songs that we sing oh lord god that every so instrument that we played oh lord god will be in one accord oh lord jesus to lift up your name on high to magnify your name oh lord jesus lord you, you are so good oh lord god and we thank you lord god for all you have done in our lives oh lord jesus lord we pray oh lord god for from the very beginning of this service until the end oh lord god holy spirit take control lord and Lord, we pray, O Lord God, for your messenger, O Lord God, uh, that you will give him the boldness, O Lord Jesus, and you will 
Anoint us, O Lord God, as we sing praises to you, O God, O Most High. We thank you, Father God. We give you all the glory and honor due to your holy name, Lord. In Christ Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning to you, all of you, church. Are we ready to praise the Lord? Can we give him a clap offering this morning? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Blessing and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of days. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessing and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of days. Come on, church. Let's sing. Blessing and honor. Blessing and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of from every nation, from every nation, all of creation, bow before the ancient. Blessing and honor, blessing and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of from every nation, from every nation, all of creation, bow before the ancient of and every tongue. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow to your throne. In worship you will be exalted, O oh God. And, and your kingdom shall not pass away, O oh, ancient of days. Blessing and honor. Blessing and honor, glory and power. To the ancient of the from every nation, from every nation, all of creation, bow before the ancient of the and every tongue, every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory, ebony shall bow to your throne. In worship, you'll be exalted, O God, and, and your kingdom shall not pass away, O ancient of the Lord, your kingdom, your kingdom shall reign over all the earth. Sing unto the ancient of days, for none can compare to your master's word. Sing unto the ancient of your kingdom come, your kingdom shall reign over all the earth. Sing unto the ancient of days, for none can compare to your master's word. Sing unto the ancient of dead. Every tongue, every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow to your throne. In worship you'll be exalted, O oh God. And, and your kingdom shall not pass away, O oh ancient of days. May your homes be filled with dancing. May your streets be filled with joy. May injustice bow to Jesus. May injustice bow to Jesus. And as the people turn to pray from the mountains, from the mountains to the valley.
Let us sing to the Lord our God. We sing hallelujah to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. And hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. And hallelujah. 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 Yes, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, everyone, we sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, for your goodness, for your mercy and grace, O oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's worship the Lord. He lives forever. Be glory unto him. Be glory unto the Lord. Though my flesh should be 
Boy. 
unchangeable God. Unchangeable, unshakable, unstoppable. That's what you are. Unchangeable. Yes, you are, Lord. Unshakable. You are, Lord Jesus. Unstoppable. Thank you. That's what you are. Unchangeable, yes, Lord Jesus. Unshakable, you are Lord. Unstoppable, that's what you are. We glorify you, Lord Jesus. You are awesome, mighty God. You are unstoppable, unchangeable. You are the mighty God. You're the Emmanuel, the mighty one of Israel. We glorify, we magnify your holy name, Lord Jesus. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Unshakable, unstoppable. Oh, you're, you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Oh, my princess, you reign, you reign, you reign over all of the earth. You reign, my Jesus, our Jesus. Most gracious heavenly Father, Lord, we continue to pray, worship your holy name, O Lord God. And at this time, Lord, we pray for the nation of United Kingdom, O Lord God. We lift up to you this nation, the United Kingdom, O Lord God. We pray from its rulers, O Lord God, from the Prime Minister, O Lord Jesus, from the royal family, that you will give him them, O Lord Jesus, the wisdom, the knowledge, O Lord God, and understanding. To govern, O oh Lord God, and to rule the nation, O oh Lord God, of the United Kingdom, O oh Lord. We pray for the people, Lord God, that every land, every people, every tongue, O oh Lord God, that one day they will confess that you, Lord Jesus, Lord, they are, Lord, you are the, you are the Savior, O oh Lord God, of the United Kingdom and the rest of the whole world, O oh Lord. Lord, we pray, O oh Lord God, that whatever circumstances that, that they are facing, we know that they are not exempted in this pandemic, O oh Lord God. But we know, O oh Lord Jesus, that your hands is not short, that you will help them, O oh Lord God, that you will provide them of all their needs according to your riches and glory. Bless this nation. We pray for every churches that they will be in one accord, that we will that we, we will be praying, O oh Lord God, steadfastly, strongly, O oh Lord God, that they may share the good news, O oh Lord God to every people in that land, O oh Lord Jesus. Lift up your name on high, O oh Lord God. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen, O oh Lord Jesus. We, may, may we call on Pastor Wesley for the announcement. Praise the Lord. Very good morning to all of you. We are in the awesome presence of the Lord who is unchangeable, unstoppable, and is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. So this morning I have uh, two announcements. As we announced last week, the church school is reopening today. Uh, 
at 10.30. So we request you all to encourage your children to join the church school. And if you have any doubts regarding uh, Zoom ID or uh, getting connected to the Zoom, so please contact the teacher, class teachers, and they will be uh, helping you to join the classes. And the second announcement will be is uh, uh, we have received an invitation from NEC Church. NEC Church is uh, 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 conducting a Bible quiz on Book of Proverbs. So if anybody is interested to attend, uh, to get part, to participate in this uh, uh, quiz program. So we encourage you to participate, and if you are interested, uh, please uh, do contact your congregational pastor, or you can contact us for getting more information. This quiz, quiz will be conducted on 18th of October. The last day for registration will be uh, 15th of October. So if anybody inter is interested, please uh, do contact us before that. May God bless you, and now is the time to hear the word of God, and we welcome Pastor Jacob Chandy to come and share the word with us. Praise the Lord. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God has allowed us to live in this world the last eight months of 2021. We are in the ninth month, first Friday. Let us thank God. The COVID situation in Bahrain is controlled all because of God's grace. We are praying for all the nations. Let this nation will be delivered from this great trouble all the people are going through. God only can. God only. So let us pray. God will do a great thing in the midst of all the people. Let us look into today's word. Hebrews chapter 2 Hebrews chapter 2 verse 1 to 4 Hebrews chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. Therefore, we must give more earnest heed to the things we have heard, lest we drift away. For if the word spoken through the angels proves steadfast, and every transgression and disobedient receive a just reward. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first begin to the spoken by the Lord and was confirmed to us by those who heard him? God also bearing witness both with the signs and wonders, with various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit, according to his own will. Shall we bow down for prayer? Father in heaven, we thank you and praise you. We thank you for this day. Thank you for our life. Though you granted one more day in our life, we thank you for helping us to come to your presence. Lord, I pray for all the brothers and sisters who are listening today to your unchanging word. Let it be a blessing for them. Lord, speak to our hearts. 
sheep to our hearts. Help us to receive your word and change our life according to the, your plan and purpose. Father God, we thank you. Thank you for this nation. Thank you for freedom and the facilities you are given to us. We always grateful to you what you are doing in our life for us. Father, today we commit the rest of the time into thy mighty hand. Let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Book of Hebrews. The epistle of Hebrews. Some of the translation we can see Apostle Paul to the Hebrews. Actually, there is no proof who wrote this book. Some says Paul wrote, some says Apollos, some others say not both of them, somebody else. This is not our problem. We want the word of God. We want to listen to the word of God. We want to take the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you. We wrote, we, uh, we read from the word, chapter 2, verse 1, 2, 4. Now verse 1, it is a warning. It is a strong warning. Here we find in the New Testament, a strong warning in this portion. There is another forewarning we can find in the book of Hebrews. This is the warning, the chapter 2, verse 1 is giving the warning against scripting away. Wa warning against scripting away. In the church third chapter when we come, we can see there the warning against unbelief. In the fifth chapter, we can find there is one warning against immaturity. The sixth chapter, there we will find a, another warning that is falling away from God. The fifth warning and the last warning from this book of Hebrew that find in the twelfth chapter that is the warning against sin. Warning against Refusing God himself. As we go into these words today, the first warning, warning against stripping away. The word stripping. In Hebrews, some of the words it is used as sailors, using these words, drifting. Recently, not recently, last year, I think last year, there was a tsunami hit in the Indian coastal area, as if from Arabic Sea. I heard from somebody near the coastal area in the sea there was a barge, construction barge. People are working because of this tsunami. They stripped away from that coastal area and damaged totally. 
the drive was completely damaged. The reporter says, how it happened? The hanger, hanger was cut off. Because hanger was cut off, this stripped away from the place where it was. So, stripping away is most dangerous thing. In the spiritual life, it can be happen. That is why the writer of Hebrews giving us this warning against drifting away. How that chapter begins? The second chapter, therefore, therefore, we must give the more earnest heed to the things we have heard, lest we tripped away. Therefore, this, that means the first chapter, something is given. Something is proved. Some truth is bring it out. Exposed to us. What is that? What is that the first chapter says? First chapter, most of the Hebrew meaning chapter is greater than. Is greater than. The first chapter says is greater than prophets. Is greater than angels. This letter is writing to Hebrew Christians. In that time, they are under the Roman rule. The huge religion was recognized by the Hebrews. Christians are not recognized. They are underground. The people who believed and accepted Jesus Christ, they have a tendency They have a temptation to go back to old religion. There we will, they will get comfort. Your persecution, your problem. So, it's one thing is proving. What is that? The truth, bring it down, is greater than the prophet, is greater than the angels. Therefore, what you heard, hold it strong. That is the origin language it says, put test fast your anger on Christ, the solid rock. Put your anger. The Christ, the soul rock. Otherwise, you will be tripped away. You will be tripped away. Hallelujah. How do we trip away? How do we trip away? Why do we trip away? Is not if one ship is coming to a harbor, 
in the day time without putting throwing their anger in the sea if that ship is kept there whole night the morning they will be in somewhere else not in that harbor maybe that sea is not a big rolling or something but slowly it moves and that is a word it is using tripped away slipping slowly example in the christian life who were following christ anyone will say tomorrow onwards i will not follow christ tomorrow onwards i will not come to the church tomorrow onwards i don't want fellowship nobody will say nobody will say all of a sudden but how it is happening slowly slowly how we can recognize that one thing i will tell you that is what it is mentioned we will not hold the word of god strongly how how we can know did you notice people come to the church when the word of god start they will sit idle or they will put the leg on other leg and they will just see what this preacher is going to preach if it is a rich man and lesser uh, all of a sudden they know what he is going to preach if it is for prodigal son no he will sit there he will not have a thirst to listen that day from that message if anything is for me i believe if you are really holding the word of god really holding christ there is something to speak to you through the word of god every day every moment of life hallelujah 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 psalm 121 i don't know how many times i read i used to go when people go on vacation even still some of them go i will pray with them on telephone i used that words i pray to god before that lord i want to utter that word i will look and to you just a word i am not telling what is in that life i want to see in my life and the person who was traveling i want to see he is experiencing his help hallelujah 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 this is the way we drift away how much value you are giving to the word of god how much serious about your hallelujah you are a day to day your fellowship with uh, uh, god and the people of god this message this warning 
is very important in this time people are slowly drifting away from their spiritual lifetime look at the families any husband and wife will say tomorrow i am going to fight with you i am going to talk to you no nobody will say Can you as bad as people say to borrow advice I will not leave with you No they not coming all of a sudden slowly start stop talking stop having the intimacy stop having the relationship it lead one day hallelujah why this warning is given to us don't drift away why do we drift away because of familiarity because of familiarity i know I know this world. I know what is there. I know the family life. Children. Fellowship. How we lose our fellowship. somebody will say tomorrow uh, to, uh, tomorrow on which i am not going to come all of a sudden taking a decision no slowly start slowly start this word this warning calling you to be serious calling me to be serious about his word don't trip away don't trip away hallelujah put this fast your hunger on the christ the solid rock hallelujah 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 other ways we will destroy one day we will destroy one day don't trip away don't trip away hallelujah in the first century time for their safety they are using so many symbols signs now christians are using this fish sign of fish you can some of them are using in the back side of the car in the first century time hanger that was their sign boat also there was sign for christians secret sign hanger was the important sign hallelujah when the sixth chapter comes six chapter 19th verse six chapter 19th verse this hope we have an anger of the soul both sure and steadfast and which endures the presence behind the veil hallelujah this putting total trust in god hallelujah this word is giving us warning don't trip away be serious be serious jesus 
There is nothing else. No one else can help you. Hallelujah. 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 Don't trip away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Humiliarity. I know. I know this much. I know this much they can do. I th this much they can preach. But familiarity will lead us to slowly trip away from Jesus Christ. He's the only one. He's the only one you and me can trust. He's the only one you and me can hold on in this difficult time. He's the only one can sustain you and me in this difficult time. As we are going through a pandemic time, a difficult time in most of the area of our life, physical, mental, finance, side, everywhere. Don't trip out. Don't go away from him. More strong. Be more strong. Be more serious. Serious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at there. Therefore, we must give more earnest heed to the things we have heard. Are you standing on the word? Are you giving value to the word you, which you heard? Is the same yesterday, today, and forever. His grace is sufficient for you. Hallelujah. He is promise us. I will be with you. I will help you. I will lead you. Hallelujah. Why, brother? Worry about tomorrow. Then, if you have put your trust in Him, if your anger is steadfast in Christ Jesus, He will never allow to trip away and destroy. He will never allow to slip away and destroy. Hold on him. Hold on him. Hold on his words. Hallelujah. May the God Almighty help you and every one of us to do that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Never, never ever I would grow the gospel. Hallelujah. The second thing in his warning is telling. Hallelujah. Second and third word. For if the words spoken through the angels proved such first, and every transgression and disobedience received a just reward, how shall we es escape if we neglect so great salvation? Hallelujah. Neglecting the gospel of Jesus Christ, that is a Second thing we can see there. First, drifting away from Christ. Neglecting the gospel. It is not written there. Rejecting the gospel. That means, that means, is speaking to the people who receive the gospel. Now, neglecting the gospel. Not taking the serious about that gospel. Neglecting the gospel. Hallelujah. See how 
the writer is written if the word spoken through the angels hallelujah in the first chapter is telling jesus is greater than prophets and angels here he is saying for if the word spoken through the angels proved test first and every transgression and every disobedience received a just reward then if it so in the old about the old testament law it is telling the uh, the word spoken through the angels that is the law that is that is which given to moses that is through angel that is uh, that is what uh, bible says in he in in acts of apostle chapter 7 word 37 what is word 37 38 sorry 38 acts of apostle 7 words 38 it says this is he who was in the congregation in the wilderness with the angels who spoke to him on mount sinai the new testament it is clearly said angel has given this new to moses with our fathers the one who received the living oracles to give to us hallelujah the angels are given moses and our forefathers this laws in the 53 verse also same thing it is telling in the 50 same chapter verse 53 acts of the apostle 753 who have received the law by the direction of the angels and have not kept it hallelujah and this is what it is mentioning here if they got a reward they got a hallelujah punishment they got a consequence to disobey and all the transgression they did they have consequence for that in the old testament law we all know it is written there picking up a stick picking up a stick on the south day throw the stone and kill them and if it is so if it is serious what in the old testament says no no yes yes do do don't do don't do omission of sin and commission of sin if they disobedient they got the reward they got the cons- consequence then it is t- telling how shall we escape if we neglect so the great salvation how can we escape it's a great warning hallelujah don't slip away don't trip away what you heard hold it throw your anger on that don't break it don't allow it to hold you go away from there hold it the problems comes the challenges comes hallelujah the living hallelujah for the future when we look for the future hallelujah there is challenges comes hallelujah we look backward never do it that is what telling don't drift away don't drift away and the angels has given the laws 
they disobeyed on their transgression they got reward they got they have gone through the consequence if it so if it so how much serious the son of god who spoke who give this word if we neglect we received we received we know that means neglection means purposely purposely not taking serious about the gospel hallelujah and it should not happen it should not happen for that for that god has which at the first began to be spoken by the lord is spoken by the lord and was confirmed to us by those who heard him yeah our four words confirmed to us we receives from them hallelujah god also bearing witness both with signs and wonders with various miracles and gifts of the holy spirit according to his own will hallelujah i like that word for to proof that not to show anybody's ability to show i am something miracles and signs and wonders god has given that the gift has given according to his will not to show anything not to tell i am i did that for to prove that hallelujah people not neglect the gospel which they heard hallelujah hallelujah in this time we and our dear ones we and our dear ones here it comes the important of gospel here it comes we stand for alleluia to the sharing the gospel to others alleluia here it comes it follows signs and wonders with us when we stand for the gospel of jesus christ we proclaim that we strong for that we will never neglect at any case yeah. there comes i am telling you hallelujah if you and me start this we really see what god is doing in our life and life is people who surround us hallelujah god will do that according to his will according to his will you know here this miracle here this healing is needed here this miracle is needed here hallelujah god knows not me not anyone else any great preachers see no one can say i do this on this day no not like that according to his will he will do according to his will he will do praise god hallelujah 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 hebrews giving us a warning don't trip away is it not starting in a moment it is starting from it takes time so this is a day let us search our heart in the spiritual life the church life in the family life 
the life of husband and wife life of children and parents life in fellowship anywhere anywhere are we tripped away from the truth which he heard from jesus christ we tripped away this is a day god has given us to make our hunger strong in christ jesus make it make it this is a calling and don't neglect the gospel of jesus christ hallelujah don't neglect hallelujah in the old testament people suffer by disobeying how much more serious we are what we receive through is son jesus christ how much more how much more seriousness we have to give a small thought in your hearts stripping away is serious neglecting gospel is serious are we he don't that are we take it today let the holy spirit speak to your hearts let the holy spirit speak to your hearts may the god almighty help you God will help you if you don't neglect God will help you with signs and wonders to fool you are standing for the gospel God will fool according to his will I am standing for the gospel you are standing for the gospel of Jesus Christ this is the way we see the miracles signs healing deliverance in others shall we bow down shall we look unto the god let us search our heart in the area of our life do we trip away from the truth therefore hold it strong throw your hunger christ the solid rock set fast it make it strong no one break it nothing nothing will come in take you away nothing the salvation the gospel which we heard we will stand for that we will stand for that yes we will stand for that we receive it from the son of god he give you price for that he give his life for that 
let us surrender yes take a decision i will be strong for this gospel i will share this gospel i will give value to this gospel i will never neglect i will never neglect father in heaven we thank you we thank you for this day we thank you for helping us to listen your word lord you are so loved us and you give your only begotten son because of your love only you are warning us you are warning us in different ways today's message we received because of your love any area any area in our spiritual life we are slipping away we are slipping away we are not in the position where you want us to see when you call son where you are lord always you will see where you look for us father i pray for all who heard the message they will be connected to you always they will set past their hunger in you oh lord in you oh lord and i pray the salvation we received the gospel we received we will never neglect we give full value that is your life that is your life that is your life we thank you lord we thank you we thank you lord we thank you for the all of us we commit into thy mighty hand holy spirit continue to be with that and work within us work within us give us what our father promise that strength that wisdom that ability to testify you thank you lord thank you for hearing our prayer in jesus name we pray amen and amen god bless you all as the first friday of the month we are having the communion pastor Wesley will come and read the word of God. If you are prepared in your home, we can have the communion with us. If anybody willing, every month, first Friday, we are having communion. May God help you all. Let us prepare our hearts to partake in the communion. Let us remember at this time what the Lord has done for us. I am reading the Bible from 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 onwards. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Thank in the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this, this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this, 
bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Amen. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drink this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Mm -hmm. But let a man examine himself and mm -hmm. so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner, eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Thank you, Lord. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many are asleep. Father, many once again, we examine ourselves before we take part in the Holy Communion. anything in our relationship with you and our brother. We don't want to keep in the hearts. Lord, as your servant prayed, if anything is hiding, revealed to us, let us take part of your body and your blood through this communion let it be a blessing for everyone who participate thank you jesus in jesus name amen 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 thank you lord and he took bread gave thanks and broke it and gave it to them saying this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me Thank you, Lord Jesus, giving your body for our sake. Yes, you become broken for us. Lord, we remember today your broken body as we lift this bread. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for your suffering. All you on the calorie cross, we remember, and we lift this bread. The lay you bless on the upper room, the Passover day. We want this bread be blessed. As you partake, people who are prepared and set before them, and they are lifting up that bread, we bless the master. And we will be blessed through this service as we do. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Likewise, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. Jesus, we thank you. Through your word, you made a new covenant. That is from the love of God. We thank you for the covenant you made with us. Yes, Lord. You give your life for us, the life eternal. As we lift your cup, we remember you are given your life. For Lord, your word says, Whoever drink my blood, they will live forever. Yes, that symbol. As we drink from this cup, let that assurance be in our hearts. People who live the cup in their homes, and we live this cup. As you bless on the last supper, on the Passover day, in the upper room. Lord, we believe you will bless and give it to us. We thank you. Thank you, Lord, to blessing this cup. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You can pray, can't they? Remember what Lord has done for you on the 
Remember what Lord has done for you. Remember what Lord has done for you. Remember, sir. Remember the suffering of the Lord on the Calvary cross. Remember the suffering of the Lord on the Calvary cross. Remember the suffering of the Lord on the Calvary cross. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We'll take it together. Thank you, Lord. Let us take together. Let us pray and close. Father in heaven, we thank you. We thank you for your presence. You are faithful, God. What you promise, you will fulfill. We are experiencing that. We are experiencing that. This is our prayer. Let all all our dear one will day to day our life we will experience the presence of God the life of Jesus Christ which is given to us it will come out from our inside Lord as we one more time participate on your body and blood which has given for us we participate through this table Lord I ask you to bless us keep us safe under your wings Lord protect us from all the evil of this world Help us to keep that right fellowship with uh, our brothers and sisters. Lord, help us to testify you with our words and doings, not only in our homes, not only in our church, but in the community where we live. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We give all glory, honor, and praises to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Receive the blessings. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of our Father God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with you forever and ever. And the children of God say, Amen and Amen. God bless you all. God bless you. Mm -hmm.